The season of soups is here and my husband and I love to eat soups. And we also always love those little bowl koozies that we have. So today we are going to be making some Christmas themed bowl koozies. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally pattern draft unique pieces of wearable art and some other housewares every now and again. And today I'm so excited to be making myself some fresh bowl koozies out of some fun Christmas fabrics to get us into the Christmas season. So if you are wanting to follow along, you can find the pattern down below at my store. And uh, let's get cutting and sewing these bowl koozies together. First thing you want to do is you want to measure the two by two square to make sure that your print came out the right size. Then I'm going to tape together my pattern by cutting off the edges that are unnecessary, lining up the lines and taping them together. I also will want to wash and dry my fabric as well as give it a really good iron so that it is ready to go. Then I'm gonna cut out, I decided to go with the pointed looks for the first bowl that I'm, bowl koozie I'm gonna make. And then I also just highlighted which one of those darts I'm definitely going to want to use. Next, I'm going to lay out my fabric. Since I am going to be doing this two different sizes, I'm gonna lay out two different fabrics, lining up the grain lines and making sure they are smooth. Next, I'm going to put down my pattern, pin it down so that it doesn't move on me, and cut it out. Now that I have it cut out, I'm going to unpin it, move this fabric away, and I'm gonna get out my batting. Now I'm going to pin each side of my fabric onto the batting, and I'm going to pin it so that as I'm sewing it, it's already pinned and ready to go. Then I'm gonna cut the batting out and move on to the other one. Since I have one straight line here, I'm gonna go ahead and line up that one straight edge so I don't have to cut it twice. Pin on my batting so that as I sew, it's good to go. Cut it out and next I'm going to mark out my darts. So I just cut one away and I was trying to find a pen that would actually show up on the batting and my two normal pens didn't really show up so I actually found a green sharpie that showed up enough and still kept it nice and light. Always make sure that you are happy, like you don't want anything to show through. So I went super light with the green sharpie. Next, it is time to actually sew the bull koozie. I'm going to start by sewing the batting to the fabric. This is kind of giving it like a quilting feel and so that that batting doesn't move inside there once you actually have it all sewn together. I also chose to do a contrasting thread on one side and then matching the pink on the other. That is a choice that you can make and it just depends on what you wanna do. Next, it's time to sew in all of those darts. So I started by making sure that my point of my fabric would not get wonky so I pinned the point of my fabric and then I went and pinned my dart out then once it was pinned out I sewed it down and every time I checked to make sure that my fabric was not wonky at all so I started just going from the inside and poking through at that very tip of the point of the dart so that that fabric stayed right on that batting sewing each of those darts. Now that the pink is done, it's sitting up nice and happy, and it's time to move on to the blue. I'm going to do the exact same thing where I pin the very point of my dart to make sure my fabric doesn't get wonky or weird up at that point. I want it nice and crisp and then I pull and then I line up my dart legs, pin it and sew it.
Now that I have two bowls, I'm going to flip one inside out and one right side out. And we're going to, with right sides together, we're going to pin all the way around. Now you can either clip away your darts or you can leave them there and, la and then make sure that the darts are facing opposite directions so that you don't have all the bulk on one side and none of the bulk on the other. I'm going to try making two different bowl koozies, one where I clip the darts and one where I don't clip the darts and see which one I like better. Then once it's all lined up, I'm going to sew all the way around. I decide to do the pointed bowl koozies for this first one, but if you want to do the rounded edges, that's just the other pattern. I'm sewing all the way around and as I'm sewing, I'm ensuring that those dart legs are facing opposite directions. And then as I come to the final, I want to leave, I left a little bit too small of fabric here. It didn't quite work out. So I would recommend leaving a little bit more of an opening for your fabric to pull through. Mine was just a little bit rough to actually get it to come through. But in the end, with a lot of tugging and pulling, I did get it through and ready for the point turner. So I'm going to use a point turner to really crisp up those edges. I did decide not to truly fully clip my corners but and leaving everything just a little bit bulky but using that point turner i was still able to get a nice crisp edge for or a nice crisp point for each of those points once i actually had it fully flipped i then manipulated it into looking like a full-on bowl koozie Then I top stitched all the way around all the edges, creating this cute little bowl koozie that I'm super excited to use for this holiday season. I am so excited about how these bowl koozies turned out. I am excited to make a few more so that we have a full matching set for our Christmas season and we will have his and hers. I have some uh, white and green Christmas Santas that matches the pink so we'll have his and her bowl koozies that I am super excited with. I do love this type of pattern because you can choose to either have a rounded corner or a pointed corner. So easy to pick and choose which way you want it to go. Again, if you want this pattern, you can find the link down below so that you can grab it and make your own bowl koozies. And make sure to like and subscribe so you can see other fun videos on other Christmas things as well as how to digitally apparel pattern. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy sewing!